We are back on Taking Care of Business on Current Radio News Talk, 1180-1230 KGEO, 1410 KRI, 1000KKIM in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and three times on the Internet on KNookMedia.com. So, Clay, what do you think of Brian Johnson? Oh, can't get a word in it with Brian. <laughs> well, you know, he just goes and goes and goes. <laughs> Brian's usually pretty animated. but that's... Somebody needs to turn his battery down. <laughs> that's that's the most animated I've seen. No, him, but... he does a great job. Oh, yeah, he does. He does and he's been, he's been in the pro-life movement. Like I said, the first time I interviewed him was 1990, so yeah. he's been in there a long time. And he was a fixture in 1990 when I first I'm looking forward him. to seeing him when I go up to Sacramento in yeah. a couple weeks. You know, it's funny. I've, I've probably interviewed him, I'm going to say, eight or nine times over the years, and mm-hmm. I've never met him in person. Oh, really? Yeah. It's just yeah. one of those things. Anyways, um, we're making a little turn here. 180-degree turn yes, here. Yes, talking about an event that we talked about last week with uh, Coach Dick Vermeil. We are going to talk a little bit about the Honor Flight Gala, and we are talking to the Honor Flight Gala chairperson, Kelly Gayford gladden Kelly, welcome to Taking Care of Business. Well, thank you. Thank you for having me on. And thank you for asking me to be the auctioneer. I appreciate that. I'm looking forward to it. It's it's uh, the event means a lot to me because I, you know, my parents were involved in World War II and they're still around. So you, you do know he stutters, don't you? Who stutters? <laughs> Marty. Hmm? Never heard that, but I know well, that he's good for asking for money. <laughs> yeah, there you go. And and some, but sometimes I do have a habit of putting empathy in the wrong libel, so that comes out wrong. So, <laughs> so no tell worries. us tell us about the event. The event is an evening of heroes. It's a gala dinner with a silent and live auction. And we have a VIP reception starting at 6 o'clock. And then at 7 o'clock is the dinner. Dick Vermeil is our guest speaker. He's a legendary NFL head coach. And coach of the UCLA Bruins when they beat the Rose beat the Ohio State in the Rose Bowl, and if you watch the movie Invincible, he was the coach who hired uh, Vince Papali. Correct, and he's also the owner of Vermeil Wineries. Yes, two wineries up in the Napa Calicosta area. So I imagine we're going to have some Vermeil wine at the dinner. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> So what are some of the auction items you're going to be uh, be auctioning off, the the live auction items that Marty's going to stumble over? <laughs> well, probably uh, the most anticipated auction item that we have, um, Gene Tomei from Bear Mountain Sports got Phil Robertson to donate from Duck Dynasty a gun. So we're going to be auctioning off a shotgun, that was personally signed by Phil Robertson from Duck Dynasty, and that should go for quite a bit of money. They're pretty popular right now. I think the last time that similar item was auctioned off, it went for, what, $15,000? That's correct. It has a retail value of over $2,000, and we hope to get over 15000 for it. Wow. What else have you got going on that I might be able to use? <laughs> well, we have, um, we have some trips. We have wine. We have jewelry. Um, there's quite a quite a few different things. We have some wonderful gift baskets. Um, Cafe Med donated a dinner for four for twelve months. So once a month for um, a, you know a family of four, their dinner style meals, which is really good. That should go for a lot. Wow. We have stuff from Mexico, uh, La Cabana, quite a few local restaurants. We've had a, a really a great support. From, you know, we've had a lot of support from our community. You know, Kelly, the community has really stepped up behind Honor Flight. I know I go to the airport and see these guys off when they take trips, and I, I try to get out there when they come back, and it's just an awesome experience. I know Lily, Lily is it? Lily uh, was introducing, Marsh. yeah, introducing all the guys at the last time they went off. That was really neat. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Um, it really does a wonderful job. We've Without Lily, the Honor Flight would have never um, been in Kern County, or, or as of yet, it wouldn't have. We've sent over 300 people to Washington, D.C., which in itself is pretty amazing. Yeah, it really 300, is. Yeah, 300 people that have had their lives changed and, you know, affected for the positive, and they come back, the veterans come back. And they're just so excited, and, you know, it was really something for them. This sounds um, pretty unbelievable, but you know, it's something that they live for. And then afterwards, they're, they're just so excited, and they, you know, tell everyone, and then their families and their children can when, experience when's the next it trip? all over. When's the next trip uh, going to take place? Um, it is on May, May 6th and 7th, and that is a chartered flight. 
And if somebody if if somebody wants to go to one of these honor flight programs, where do they get in contact with someone? Um, they would go to our website and the honor flights website, and then there is a um, link that they can check on that says you know if they want to be a guardian. So that's somebody that would go and help assist with the veterans, or if they want, you know, if they're a veteran themselves, they would fill that out. And if, um, you know, we look at, based upon need, we're taking World War II veterans first, and then it's going by need, then Korean, et cetera. But if there's somebody, even from Vietnam, that's not in good health, or that's um, hospice, you know, a, a more of a dire need, then we will take them first. Yeah. Now, Kelly, you're the Honor Flight Gala chairperson, and the phone number for people to call if they want to get tickets or find out more information is 661-221-1819. That's 661-221-1819. And they can also go to the Petroleum Club here in Bakersfield and buy tickets there as well, right? That's where the That's be correct. Heard. They would just go up to the top floor and ask for the manager, and that would be Rob Bunker. And he would be more than happy to get them a ticket. Now, you said people could go to your website. What is your specific website name? It is Honor Flight Kern County. If that's basically all they have to remember to type in, and then that'll shoot us up. Is it .com, .org, .net? .org. Okay, that's important to know that. So well, what... a lot of times when we give them too much information, people don't can't find it. But if you just actually type in Google Honor Flight Kern County, it will pull it up. Great. Now, what's the price of this event? The event that we're having right now is one hundred and fifty dollars a person, and that includes dinner and um, vermeil wine. Although, wonder yes, <laughs> and the vermeil wine. Now, you like to golf, don't you, Clay? Yeah, I love to golf. Yeah, Bear Valley Springs um, has donated a golf package, so we have two golf packages. Good, I'll take it's- one. <laughs> And, well, come on down. <laughs> and I have to tell you, Kelly, they've asked me not to golf. When I hit the ball, people yell, in, incoming. It's not a pretty sight. So. Well, I, I was trying to be polite, and you noticed I didn't ask you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. I'm glad you figured yeah, that one the, out. The public thanks you. <laughs> <laughs> so, again, the phone number, Kelly, is 661-221-1819, and the event is April 26th, the Honor Flight Gala event. And, again, this is to send World War II veterans. Clay had mentioned earlier, we're losing them at the rate of 900 a day, unfortunately. Uh, right. I, I know both my parents are that age, and I, I, to be honest with you, I think there'll be a, a casualty this year of that number. But uh, we're going to go to World War. We're going to go to Korean War veterans shortly, and um, then eventually they'll, they'll go to Vietnam War yeah. veterans. Yeah. The so longer they, it goes. Yeah. How many people are you expecting? Um, on this particular flight, we're expect. I mean, at the event, the we're event hopefully, yeah. hopefully we're selling out. So over 250 people. Wow, that's wonderful. Wow. And, and, and we're it, hoping to send 70 on the next flight. We have 70 signed up to go my on wife the next asked flight. Me what, is, what, my wife asked me what the dress is. And what's the address? No, it's the, dress. It's the largest building in Bakersfield, no. the Petroleum Club. <laughs> what is the dress? What should, kind of attire? Oh, what dress, what's the dress? It's business casual. Okay, thank Some you. Some people will be very dressy. We are in Bakersfield, so it pretty much runs the gamut, but yep. um, cocktail attire. Okay, and Kelly, we're out of time. Again, 661-221-1819. We'll see you in 167 hours on Taking Care of Business on Current Radio News Talk 1180.